Hey, my name is Bill. i am uh, got to entertain some friends, so I wanted to come up with a really cool side dish to make with burgers tonight. And I'm going to make potato salad. Uh, something I don't make a whole lot, even though I love it. I don't know, I just, it just seems more, more work. But I want to let you know, so I've got two pounds of red potato I've cut up, so they're pretty even size. And even if they're small, I usually cut them in half, so you can see, like this, just so they cook. They're going to take about 30 minutes. But I want to show you a trick that I figured out. And the eggs take about 20 minutes in boiling water, right? So I'm just going to add the eggs to the boiling water after 10 minutes, and then I'm going to fish the eggs out before I drain the water off the potatoes. So this way, I can use one pot to cook my eggs and my potatoes. So we'll see you back as soon as this is done cooking. Alright, so um, I got the eggs pulled out and they're in a nice bath. Started cutting up the potatoes and I'm going to finish. One of the little helpful hints I'll tell you is potatoes are real starchy and likes to stick to the knife. Put a little oil on your knife and wipe it. Sometimes you have to rinse the knife every so often. I'm just going to cut these up into chunks. They're still pretty hot. And they don't have to be real small chunks. I kind of like real potato salad and I like the skins on them. So we're just going to have fun. Cut, cut. You have to stop and clean your knife to do so. You really want to get these potatoes cut but they're still hot. So I made up a little Italian dressing. You can use any kind of bottle dressing if you want. Um, I use my recipe, which I've used in other things. It's just a little mustard, a little honey, garlic, and I put Italian parsley and um, uh, olive oil and red wine vinegar. And we're just going to pour some of this over because we want it to absorb into those nice hot potatoes. Just not too much, but this is what's really going to give it the flavor in this particular recipe. So I'm going to toss it around. Perfect. So this is a marinade. For me, it smells great. Like I said I usually put like basil in my dressing, Italian dressing. I didn't in this because this isn't really, uh, this is more about just getting some flavor in these potatoes. So we're going to want to keep stirring them around while they're nice and toasty. Set that aside. Set this aside. That'll cool down pretty quick. I'm just going to grab my Two eggs.
first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my eggs in half. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spatula, I'm just going to bust up the yolk that I set aside. Stab it a bunch of times. It's real flaky, it's going to break up. It's so easy. Perfect. If you wanted to, you could use just like a, a dinner knife or something. But as long as you make room for it, you can, anything will work. Alright, I'm going to mix this all together. The dressing is definitely absorbed in here. Okay. So I got some chopped red onion. Alright, so the potato salad's been in the fridge. I'm gonna take a look here. I see that literally all the dressing has been absorbed. Um, like I said, I didn't, I used probably right about a half a cup. 
really depends on the potatoes and everything else you put in. So it's it's cool now. <clears throat> Just starting to get it, you know, a little on the dry side from being in the refrigerator. So now, here's my secret. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna grind some fresh black pepper on here, because I like pepper on my potato salad, and I think you need it just about everything you eat. And I'm gonna make this healthy. I'm gonna put yogurt in it. You just want low flat, you know, low fat, plain yogurt, not vanilla. That would taste really wrong. Don't I don't know about some of the like substitute um, yogurts like oat bran or, or oat, whatever. So I'm gonna take about a cup. I gently fold this in. My sister used to ask me to make this for her all the time. Because she thought it was better than regular. So I, um, the yogurt can change consistency, so I like putting it on not too far ahead of serving. And I don't make huge batches just because of that. But it's really creamy. The tartness of the yogurt really adds to it. Just want to get everything incorporated. And you might not be able to fool your friends that it's not mayonnaise, but once they try it, they'll be okay with it. Um, <clears throat> we just want to keep get enough yogurt in there so you, you, it's got good consistency. You know, if you're really rocking around with a with a spoon or a spatula, you're going to really destroy the potatoes. It's one of the things about potato salad, you end up with like mashed potato or something. But ultimately, I want to see if I can just get a piece of potato and some other stuff. Absolutely, this is wonderful. I love the fact that that Italian dressing absorbed in there. Gave everything a really good flavor, so I didn't have to put a whole lot. You could put other herbs in if you want, into your dressing, whatever your preference is. Um, keep it really simple. Don't put too much dressing in. And like I said, um, just like any time you make anything with a starch in it, be it mac salad or potato salad, Right before you serve it, you might have to put a little more in just to give it a better consistency. But this is absolutely wonderful. Hope you enjoy it. I want you to try it. I want you to comment. I want you to subscribe or you make me cry. I'll talk to you later.